Hi guys, my name is Ivo and I'm from mytestedasp.net. It's time for my next part of my current video series, which is about building an application with ASP.NET Core 5 and Angular 9. We are creating a Catstagram app, essentially an application for just like Instagram, but for cats. And if you're new around here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bells because every Every week I'm uploading very interesting and advanced C Sharp lessons. So now let's go to Visual Studio and continue our project. Uh, before I create the delete, I would need to commit the code because, as you may already know, we're simulating an actual development process. We commit code, we deploy code, we uh, fix bugs live on video and so on. So everything is documented. Added, get update, logic and action. Let's push that. I'm using tortoise git for simple git operations but for more advanced scenarios I'm using the git bash console. So now let's add a delete HTTP delete public async task from action result delete and I would need a model but actually there is no need of a model here because I just need to have an ID and because I need an ID I will need it in the route directly. Maybe I would need to change the HTTP put to have an ID too but I'm going to negotiate that with Ines which is building the Angular client and as she decides uh, that will be the way we are going to implement it. So okay for the delete I am having an ID but what I want to add is in infrastructure I am going to add web constants. which is going to have public const string uh, route ID or how to name it close to the ID like this and in the cats controller I'm going to say using static infrastructure.webconstants and then I'm going to say route ID Still not sure whether to name it route ID, but for now it looks okay. Or maybe just an ID. Like this. Okay. It doesn't matter actually. So delete. What I want to do is I want to say user ID is this dot user get ID then getting the user ID in every single uh, action actually but it's needed so I'm getting the user ID then I want to have on the iCAT service public task from Bo which indicates whether the cat was successfully deleted or not. Delete 
in which I'm going to uh, provide int id and string user id. For now, I'm going to delete to delete the uh, cats by hard delete. So I'm going to actually delete them from the database. But in the future, I'm going to add some sort of soft delete, which will just mark the cats as deleted. OK, so cat service, let's implement that. And the logic is kind of the same like this. So we need to check and find a cat which is which has the same ID and the same user ID as the provided ones. And if such a cat is not found, someone is trying to delete a cat which is not uh, which does not exist or which is not created by him. So we apparently don't allow deleting of that particular cat. So I'm going to extract a private uh, cat by ID and by user ID and ID string user ID which is essentially the following but I need to make that a sync task cat wait like this and I'm going to reuse it and I'm going to say this get by ID and user ID I'm going to use the same here because I don't want to copy paste logic so async if cat equals no I'm going to return false otherwise I'm going to say this dot data dot cats remove cat wait this data save changes async return true like this and in the cats controller we are just going to say await this dot cat service dot delete this ID and this user ID var deleted equals to that if not deleted return bad request otherwise return OK as you can see guys my first restful controller is completely implemented and it's quite thin it doesn't have even 100 lines of code because i separate everything and extract it to the uh, i extract it to the service layer and uh, whole purpose of the controller class now is to have request response logic to pass the request data to the service layer and return responses so let's open uh, let's open postman to see whether the delete is working correctly and then we are going to commit everything and deploy the app so that the client can use this CRUD operations. Before I continue, I would like to introduce you my mentorship program. If you go to patreon.com slash Ivaiwokenov, that's where my that's where you can join my mentorship program and I offer additional content for uh, monthly support. So if you decide to join one of my tiers, you will receive some additional 
gifts for me and additional lessons for example for as little as five dollars a month you will receive an extra one hour of exclusive advanced c sharp lessons which are not available publicly they are posted on my patreon only feed which is uh, kind of nice for H april i'm currently uh, preparing a video about data structure efficiency which i believe will be very useful additional perks include private community in which you can ask me anything live event recordings uh, voting system which will uh, give you access to my future videos you may even become my boss and tell me what video to create for my channel and so on make sure you check that out and if you wonder where you can find my the source code from this video you can go to my github profile which is Ivaio Kenov you may follow me if you like hit repositories write down tv and that's the repository in which i'm uploading every bits every single bit of code i'm using in my youtube channel so you will find links to all the playlists all the lessons and the source code is right here you may clone it you may play with it you may do whatever you like you may fork it i will appreciate if you give me a star also you may decide to watch the repo because i upload uh, the source code first here and then i uh, publish it publish the video on youtube so you will know first that a video is published and what i also want to do is i want to thank my sponsors my diamond sponsor endeavor and my gold sponsors softune smart it noble hire and one bit software endeavor is constantly searching for passionate developers so make sure you check them out if you want to change your job my gold sponsors are again Softuni, Smart IT, Noble Hair, and One Bit Software. Thank you guys, you truly rock and you motivate me to continue doing free lessons on YouTube. So now let's try to delete the cat. Let's try to delete the second cat. And I run it and see 200 OK. I run it and see bad requests. So apparently I cannot re delete it again. If I run uh, against the third cat, which I don't own, I also receive bad request. And if I try to get the details of the second cat, swash cat, it gives me not found which is correct but for the third cat it should still be here so great guys we did it we created the delete action in our controller so now I'm going to publish the application and commit it to github and we're good to go so right click publish i already explained how to publish on azure in one of my uh, previous videos so make sure you check it out if you're not familiar with the process it's actually very easy so let's try to redeploy that until it's deployed i'm going to commit the changes add it delete Cat delete logic and action. Let's push that too. And now let's wait for the published result. Build failed. Why is that? Everything should be fine. Let's run again. something felt during the process but now it should be okay let's see that the swagger is showing correct actions and guys if you happen to be an ASP.NET developer whether it's for the old web API 2 or the new ASP.NET core MVC one 
you may check my tools I'm creating in my free time. I'm I'm creating testing tools which cuts quite a lot of the testing time from the developers and these allow you to write very fast and fluent unit tests for various components in the web application. So if you want, make sure you check these out. They are available on my GitHub profiles. Let's see what's going on with the Catstagram server. Maybe it needed to wake up, but everything is fine. We have the cats controller and the identity controller. The delete, the put, everything is deployed. So the client can continue working on the CRUD operations for the cat. So guys, thank you for being with me. It was a pleasure. So I hope you liked this video. And if you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. Thank you and see you in my next video.